Today we're going to show you how to do a factory reset on a Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. I guess the S4 will be exactly the same. This has got the latest firmware on it at the moment. Just for orientation, on the side we've got your power button. On the other side we've got your volume up button. And on the front you've got your home button there. What we'll need to do is first of all turn your phone off and this will shut your phone down make sure when you're doing this that you back up all of your pictures and your information because once you've done this it will delete your phone as though you just got it out of the box from the shop. So what I need to do now is at the same time I need to press the power on button, the volume up button and the home button at the same time. And keep holding it. The difference is now when you start it up is it will come up with an extra bit of a menu at the top that says recovery. Your Android symbol will show there and it will show there you're now in Android recovery. What we can do is <coughs> if you see this option down here for wipe data factory reset we use the volume down button to get down to the option to do a data and factory reset and then to accept that you press the power button it gives you a last chance here and gives you a warning that it will confirm the wipe of all your data you can't undo this so once you've gone past this point there's no return make sure you've backed everything up use your volume down button to get to delete and then again press the power button that will go through the process now of deleting everything on your phone it will delete all your emails all your apps and any other rubbish on there that's causing your system to go slow just give you a warning at the bottom there to say it's wiping data And then it asks you to reboot the system now. Your phone reboots. And this should lead us to get to your original setup that you would when you first get the phone to set, reset up your email accounts, your Samsung account. This does take a few minutes. So just be patient, it will fire up. Make sure also before you do this that you've actually got a good battery life. Don't do it if your phone's flat. Or if it is low on battery, plug it in before you start. Now I've decided to do this because my phone started after a few recent updates started discharging really quickly without even using the phone so I think one of the updates on one of the apps is draining too much power so I thought I'd give it a clean out and start again
I said be patient with this bit, it can take a little while. <coughs> That only came up because I've got a sim lock on my phone. So there we are. We're back to one of your original pages where you go for your initial setup where you can add your Wi Fi networks. Okay, so we're back connected. You go through the usual scenario of agreeing to the licenses. Okay, we'll go through all this quickly. We'll skip all these bits. I'll enter all my details in later. You can synchronize all your accounts again. Log into your Dropbox if you have one. And then we're back to your original homepage. So after that, you can just see that within that few minutes, we've done a factory default on the phone. So I hope that was to use to you. Thanks for watching.